Welcome back everybody to another food review here on Food Central TV. It's weird to say that. I haven't done this, uh, said that in, in, in a long time. I know a lot of you have been wondering and asking me in the comments if I'm coming back, or if, I, if I quit or whatnot. No, I didn't quit. I've been having a lot of personal stuff going on. I just wasn't in the mood to do videos or a lot of things I like doing actually. But it's getting better. I'm not going to go into too much detail here, but... Um, I'm doing better, so uh, that's why I'm back. I've been wanting to do some videos. I tried doing one last week for the McDonald's Adult Happy Meal, but uh, I went to three different McDonald's and they didn't have the toys. So I said, you know what, screw it. I'm just gonna have a regular Big Mac meal. <laughs> Besides, it was an extra $3 to have the toy added to the Happy Meal, oh, to the Happy Meal, yeah. Uh, so when I seen they were having this, I knew I had to come and try it. Burger King, you know I love Burger King and Taco Bell. Burger King and Taco Bell are always my places that I go to for to, to do food reviews. Um, they're bringing a Halloween Whopper bag. This is, the, I think, the fourth time. Uh, it seems like they do it every two years. I'll, I still have PTSD from the from the black bun <laughs> that made your, uh, your poop emerald green. Uh, the burger with the meal uh, was eleven dollars and forty two cents, and I think just the burger was like six or seven dollars. Kind of expensive. Um, I don't remember what the was the last one with a green bun, and it had the burger patty, the chicken patty, and bacon. I think that was the last one they did, maybe two years ago. So here we go. I like this one. When I seen it on Facebook, I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, it has an orange bun, and we have some black sesame seeds. And let's pop it up. I was wondering why this cheese looked so weird. It has this weird color. It's a ghost pepper cheese, jalapenos, like little crispy fried jalapenos, uh, some bacon and queso. I don't know if they have the sauce on here. Oh, okay, yeah. The sauce is at the top. You can kind of see it. It's like a queso sauce and uh, nothing at the bottom. And I'm going to cut this one in half because I'm going to share it with somebody at work. Zach, in the comments, leave your rating, and everybody else could see it. Because <laughs> I know Zach's going to be watching this video. So uh, here's a nice little cross-section. Don't look uh, that bad. So let's give it a try. The Was it the Ghost Whopper? I think that's what it was called. The Ghost Whopper for Burger King. <clears throat> Definitely has some spice to it. I've had spicier fast food burgers. I still remember when I, my, I think my first food review where I did something that was spicy when Wendy's had that chicken sandwich that had all that spicy stuff on it. I cried, I think, in that video. It was so spicy. But I like it. It tastes pretty good. We'll take a few more bites. That first initial bite, I had gotten the taste from the jalapenos, a little spice and the crunch from them, and the bacon, and then started getting the heat from that and then the heat from the cheese. Which the, the cheese does seem like a, a weird texture. It almost seemed like it was an old piece of cheese. And then um, the bacon kind of overpowering that flame grilled flavor uh, from the burger patty, which usually just stands out from all the other Whoppers that I've had. But this time, all those other toppings are kind of overwhelming that, kind of upsetting. But overall, it's good. It's a little spicy. But it was going to be a lot spicier than what it was being, you know, ghost pepper and all. If it had been Carolina Reaper, probably would have been crying. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, pretty good. I'll finish off the rest of it, and then we'll give it a final rating. I think this is much better than the one that I had two years ago. I don't think that one was very good. All right, so at a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give the Ghost Pepper Whopper from Burger King. We'll give this a solid 8 out of 10. I, I, I give that score a lot. I know, but I do very much like this Whopper. It's spicy, but not too spicy. I really don't like a whole lot of spicy foods, but this for me, perfect amount. You got to watch out. I did see a review well, on, on a website where they gave them the wrong cheese. So if they give you the wrong cheese, it's not going to be spicy because I think most of the spice comes from that cheese. So make sure they don't give you the regular yellow cheese. Make sure they give you the ghost pepper cheese. I like the addition of the fried jalapenos. Gave it a little crunch, a little spice. And then the bun, you know, that nice little gimmick orange. I wish there was a little spice in there. I don't think there's anything on the bun besides it being orange and the black sesame seed buns. And the bacon and the beef patty, you know, Burger King's thing. Uh, overall, it's a pretty good sandwich. It's not too spicy. Anybody, I think, can handle it. It's not gonna, 
make you scream or cry or anything. It's an overall pretty good sandwich, and I recommend for you to try it if you like the Whopper and you want something a little, a little spicier. So that's how I feel about this sandwich. Do you want to try it? Do you not want to try it? Just let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys next time, hopefully, on another food review. Connor out.